So we are being real New Yorkers. I got the beat in my purse. in the morning yeah we have training in the morning in the morning at 6 a.m. to learn hospitality type stuff so, and we've just been in house board all day so we're walking the streets with the music gym welcome back to another video I'm Alexia Nicole y'all know Ashley and then I don't think I've ever been formally introduced to my roommate y'all seen her in some videos y'all heard her talking in the background but this is fun fun you want to say anything not really <laughs> how come you ask me if i want to say anything <laughs> like as far as introducing herself you've already been ashley would you like to say anything no i don't want to say nothing <laughs> also we are bored we have nothing to do oh, I have to well we we do have to be up actually quite early we have training tomorrow at 6 a.m it's 8 p.m so if we gotta get up at four o'clock. No, that. you gotta get up at four o'clock. Y'all not catching this before. I'm getting up at four forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to y'all today with a flight attendant myth video. So the first myth is that flight attendants have big parties on their layovers, or just party the whole night away and then whatever. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> I'm sleep. tired. I sleep. Exactly. exactly. I put the do not disturb sign on the outside of my door and I lock it. I had a 20 hour layover yesterday in Long Beach. We got in at 8.30 at night and we had a red eye to work the next day. I literally put the do not disturb sign on my door, went in there, went to bed, and probably didn't get up until about two hours before check-in at four o'clock the next day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, go ahead. Unless it's like a day layover like if mm -hmm. it's a good 24 hour well she yeah. lazy i probably would have did something I'm lazy. with that long beach layover i like to sleep but yeah i like to get my sleep too so and i'm just not really a night owl like that point blank period so but if it's during the day and i have at least a good 16 hours i'll go out and do something but it's definitely not like party party turn up turn up ish mm -mm. it's not more like definitely. decompress relax catch up on your netflix Right. Fix and chill. It depends on where I'm at, though, if I do something on the layover. Like, mm -hmm. if I'm in some place that I've never been before and I'm, like, excited about it, yeah, I'll probably take, like, a nap and then get up and do something, so. But then we were working the red eye back, so. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I would have no. been asleep. Red sleep. was imperative. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been asleep. Okay, so next myth is you should tip a flight attendant. That's a myth that I, is out there. I like money. Do you accept tips? I never got offered one, but I probably would. Do you accept tips? Um, I will accept tips if they're insistent upon it. I'm usually like, are you sure? Or, you know, no, I don't really want it. But if they're insistent, it's kind of rude not to accept a tip in our culture. So I will take it. I will use it for van money. But do I feel a little bit of guilt behind it? A little bit, yeah. yeah. So um, I've been offered a tip twice since I've started this little career. And I've taken both. This ain't a little <laughs> career. It's a lifestyle. Yes. Since yes. I started, nah. <laughs> since I started my flight attendant lifestyle career, I've been ex offered two tips. One was for just regular service on the flight. I guess he just thought I was really nice, and I was very persistent on trying to give it back to him. He wanted me to keep it, so I kept it. And then another one was the incident that actually just happened on my last trip. Somebody left their cell phone on the plane. They called it. I answered it. I brought them. I brought it to them. You answered it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Well, because it kept yeah, this is Becky's cell phone. <laughs> it kept ringing, so I figured it was them calling. Oh my god, that's hilarious. So they were already past 
security so they couldn't get back through. So I brought it to him, and as I was sliding him the phone, he slid me a tip. Oh, right. I didn't even see how much it was at first. I was just like, no, no, no. Like, you can keep it. And he was like, no, you're such a blessing. And I was like, I, I catch that blessing. Thank so you. So I think in training, they told us we're really not supposed to take right. the tips. But, I mean, if somebody's... Who am I not to take a blessing? Who are you not to take the blessing that God And we on reserve, and reserve pay is... Not lit, as Ashley Both said. of them tips was one hour of pay. Whoa. Damn. Mm-hmm. Two air, two air linguists. Um. <laughs> it's not your popcorn. <laughs> Next myth. Flight attendants only do this job for the free travel. Nah. Ashley shake her head. Yeah. Nah. I'm just going to say. Nah. <laughs> this is a, allowed me to go places that I probably couldn't afford to go to. As far as like the flight tickets before or that I just just I don't know that I just never thought that I could go to so so is that really the only perk for you though I mean it's the, not the, the only flying? perk no 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 because well the, the the inexpensive flying because the international isn't free no I mean it wasn't free but but it's, it's a discounted it's rate a, a nicely discounted nicely rate. discounted rate <laughs> almost free basically so I mean no I don't do it for just check I guess I take it back. That's you one know, I wouldn't three. say, okay, so this myth is kind of specific to the free part. I would take out the free part because, I mean, even if you want to travel, you're going to travel regardless. So do you do it for the travel? Yes. I mean, that's a really big part of the job. Like, you are you get to go to places that you probably would never win in your life, even in some of these little podunk cities that like I don't want to Vermont. Go. Yeah. Vermont is beautiful, though. It Isn't really it? is. I still don't think I've been there yet. No, it's really nice. <laughs> I don't do it for the travel. I do it because I enjoy the lifestyle. I enjoy the quality of life off of reserve. I do it because I enjoy... How do I put it? I enjoy the flexibility in my schedule, the ability mm-hmm. to only work 9 or 10 days out of the month yeah. and still get paid for... Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, et cetera. Yeah, I, and she OG I in this thing. She been flying for a long time. What's she? Was... <laughs> <laughs> I what do it for the flexibility. What did that have to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> She's showing her age. Attendants are basically waitresses in the sky. Rude. But no, don't go there. We're not. Let her have her peace. Go ahead, right. say what you want to say. But for the company that we work for, <laughs> I feel like we kind of are. <laughs> With these trays. I was thinking the same thing mm. yesterday because I was ready. Mm. Honestly. With yeah. a tray. Okay, I could yeah. I can see the visual of that, but But what when we get our carts, you know. Right. But what our job actually is, we don't learn we don't go to training yeah. to learn to be no waitress. Yeah, no. Unless an emergency happens, then yeah, maybe I'll be and a waitress. But. Just to put this out there, I don't have no issue with no waitresses. If that's your job, that's your job. I did it for many a years. That's a good coin. <laughs> but that's just not what a flight attendant's job is. That's just... Our job is to save your life. Myth number five. A flight attendant is supposed to help stow your bag. <laughs> that's not in my job description. Uh-oh. Not mine either. Uh, Actually, low-key, it does say you need to be able to lift in the descriptions. Doesn't it say that? You're okay, but we're there to lift. assist. Yeah. If you packed it, you need to be able to lift it. Mm-hmm. Because who is not paying for my OJI if I get if I get injured. I my rule of thumb is if like on my last flight, this lady she had a child and she had a baby carrying like on her chest like in a little thingy, mm-hmm. and she had two bags. I'm not about to let a lady try to carry a big old suitcase and the little baby right yeah. here. So right. or if it's a really old person in their nice. Right, those yeah. all will help. But if you're a grown ass man, oh no, yeah, no. yeah. I agree. Am I going to help everybody down the aisle put their they luggage in the overhead bin? No, I'm not. If your bag is a little too heavy and you look willing and able to lift that thing by yourself, then I might just let you do it by yourself because I don't want to hurt myself. Like, my shoulder's hurting right now probably because I lifted a bag that was too damn heavy. To be a flight attendant, you must be young and sexy. Yeah, baby. You could be old in a milk like me. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> 
He's a male. <laughs> but no, that's not mm-hmm. true. It um, at all. You don't have to be a size zero. That mm-hmm. went out the window years ago with Southwest mm-hmm. and a lawsuit, age discrimination, sex discrimination, all that. It did. I believe you. I it went out thought. the window where you used to have to be 5'4 and 115 pounds. No longer. No, young and sexy is not a requirement, but it is nice. Nice eye candy. <laughs> young, middle-aged, old as hell. <laughs> Ancient. <laughs> Oh. But sexy, sexy, sexy. So mm, the young is I'm bringing just sexy back. Next myth: you don't have to follow the directions of a flight attendant. Yeah, you do. You ain't follow my directions. Bye. Post nine eleven, pre nine eleven, it was not mandatory that you follow our instructions. Post nine eleven, it's a federal offense. If you do not follow our instructions, you will be either removed from the aircraft or you will be fined ten thousand dollars and jailed if you do not follow what we say all we're saying is follow directions exactly do what we say the first time or uh if we say put off get get off your phone get off your phone it's very disrespectful put your tray table up put your tray table up it's like being in college and professor and your professor is giving a lecture and you're on a cell phone like yeah uh uh-huh yeah, it's really disrespectful, and I take great offense to that. Yeah. And besides the fact of it being disrespectful, because, I mean, if I don't know you in real life, like, personally, I don't care if you're being disrespectful like that. But the things that we're saying to you are important. They're to help you save your life in case of an emergency. So if you choose to be on your cell phone, and then we have an emergency, and you don't know where to find your life vest. So, yes, it's necessary that you listen to your flight attendant. <laughs> Next myth. Flight attendants are well paid. <laughs> Sorry. Where? Where? Well. Where? Sips orange juice. <laughs> Sips air. Sips nothing because it's a lie. Okay? We're broke. Okay? Especially when you're on reserve. Okay? That is really rough. But it gets better. Okay? It does. You could make like about six figures with this job with the right company after a long time. So I believe most airlines start you off anywhere between fifteen dollars, and then I think some Dang. max pay go up to like what's the highest y'all seen? I think Delta seventy. 70? No, Southwest is more. Oh, you mean like long term? Yeah, um, Southwest is the highest paid at like eighty or ninety grand a year. Something ridiculous. Yeah, I think their their year cap out is what like thirteen years or so, and then your highest hourly pay is like about 70 something dollars an hour I think Mm. with them something like that so it is possible to make money you just have to put in the time yeah that's why you be seeing some of them grannies pushing them carts down now because they (laughs) want to keep their coin they finally got to the point where they're making a good coin Mm. and why not um, but you can still make money either way. Like, okay, even now we're on reserve after we get a line and everything, you could be making some money, like, because you could pick up trips, you have a line, so you can, like, maneuver your schedule the way you want it to be to pick up out. So, like Ashley was saying about a line, I think I mentioned to y'all a video or two or three ago that I was applying for our first class position, and I got the job. Ashley ain't apply. I didn't. One applied. She got the job too. I don't know how. I don't know how either because as y'all can see, she's crazy. (laughs) But so I'm not going to go into too much detail about that right now, but hopefully it'll give me a line. It's going to give me some more money and I'm going to be a well-paid flight attendant sooner than later. Hopefully. Last myth of them all. Probably one of the biggest myths. Flight attendants have a boyfriend, girlfriend, slash boo thing, slash bae, slash, what's some other terminologies? Booty buddy. Booty buddy. Boinker. I don't know. <laughs> what the? I've never heard that one before. <laughs> Did I? I was I'm anyway, so flight attendants got a little dip in every city that they go to. No. I can tell you right now, for Alexia and Nicole, that is not true, honey. I live my life for the Lord. And I'm not dipping it everywhere I go. Well, I live my life for the Lord too, but I wish I could dip it. <laughs> it's not like that. You don't even have time. Like you don't have time. And I never have anybody cute on my flights. One time I did. Yeah. 
actually it didn't today i didn't work the flight i was just on it it was a cute he was with the girl though so it just mm. wasn't worked out no okay just because i live my life for the lord don't mean i don't look because i look you know i'm so a shit. young single flight attendant that you know i put my lipstick on to be cute on the flight you never know what you might see in the airport or meet in the airport what god sends down from the heavens for you but um <laughs> No, I don't have a boyfriend, girlfriend in every city that I lay over. And I can't even do that because I'm on reserve. I don't know where I'm going. I can't book no time in advance. That's true. Like, I mm-hmm. wish, though. That would be fun, man. You Dinner would be paid for. <laughs> Your activities would be paid for. <laughs> it's just all-inclusive in every city, huh? <laughs> it's all-inclusive. It's like a resort. <laughs> it's like a resort. Hotel already booked. <laughs> oh, my Screw, God. Screw services took care of that. So all inclusive, <laughs> all inclusive bank. Um, do y'all have any other myths just off the top of your mind that you want to respond to at this? Only moment? one time have I ever had a passenger on my flight that I actually found really, really attractive. <laughs> this I'm looking at my manifest like, oh man, oh. and he's in first class, and so I shoved the manifest in my bag for later. A couple days later, I stalked him on Instagram and I found him. And I hit him up, but I just commented on one of his photos. Then he was like, wait a minute, were you the flight attendant on my flight from such and such? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, dead. That was his emoji. Look at the popcorn. <laughs> and, um. I never heard this. No, you go. So we talked a couple times. Hey. And then, um. It just so happens that he was going to be in Myrtle Beach for bike week. And I also had a Myrtle Beach trip the same weekend. Mm. And I met him down there. We met for drinks. But the first question he asked me was, so how often do you hit on your passengers? Mm -hmm. And I was like, never. I never do. And he was like, I don't believe you. And so that never sat well with me. And it was always in his head that, you know, I must do this all the time, and I hit on all my passengers, and so it just never went anywhere. The mm. end. All right, y'all, so that's all we have for flight attendant myths. I hope you all enjoyed it. Say bye to Ashley. Bye, Come Ashley. to my YouTube channel. Yes, go visit Ashley's YouTube channel. I will um, post my her link. My Chitsa vlog will be up. She just came back from her first trip of enjoying her benefits. Yes. She went to Cancun. Ooh. She's on a mission to see all the seven wonders of the world. Ooh. So she went and saw, what's it called? Chichen Itza. Did you swim in a cenote? I was too scared to jump off the cliff. You didn't do it. I didn't do it. Oh, I didn't do it. Y'all about we would have been busted. Um, Add Ashley's video to end of the, to the end of this video. So y'all go watch that. Subscribe to Ashley's channel, yeah. and then y'all will see and hear fawn in the background of all my videos probably because <laughs> she don't be one to be in the videos, but she want to have something to say all the time. <laughs> Always. So, um, I am on a mission to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you're watching these videos and getting all Emoji. my juice and getting all my tea and all this experience and whatever and watching my um, what's it called? The training vlogs, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. I would appreciate it. Anyways, subscribe, subscribe like, share. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your, your mama, mama friends. Your mama's friend, your mama auntie's friend. That's right. All them friends. Even your grandmama. She don't want to be a flight attendant. Just tell her anyway. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs>